everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today I am doing the Still a Booktube newbie tag. Now the day that I'm filming this is April 20th. The day that you guys are seeing it is April 21st. And today, April 20th, is actually my one year anniversary on Booktube. One year ago today, I posted my very first video, which was the Booktube newbie tag. So I thought that it was only appropriate to celebrate my one year Booktube anniversary with the still a Booktube newbie tag. Now this tag was originally created by Rachel Marie and I will leave her original tag video down in the description in case you are curious, but today I'm just gonna be going through it really quickly and answering the questions in the tag as one does. But before we get into the video, if you're new here and you're not already, be sure to go down and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon down below so that you never miss out on any of my content. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first question asks, why do you still consider yourself a newbie? And like I said in the beginning of the video, this is my one year booktube anniversary. I've been here for one year. I've been posting pretty consistently up until that point. I think I have 102 videos or something like that. So I do feel like I've gotten a little bit of my footing under me and kind of figured out how I like to structure my videos and edit them and all that good stuff. But I am still kind of figuring out exactly the vibe that I want for my channel. I haven't yet done a ton of really creative videos, so I am still kind of looking to do that more in the future. I have a few in mind coming for you guys in the next few months that I'm really excited about. But I am still just kind of trying to figure out my specific space on booktube, so that's why I still consider myself a newbie. Number two is who were some of your biggest inspirations for joining booktube? And for that, really just all of the booktube that I watch. I was 24 when I started my booktube channel, but I have actually been watching booktube since college or even before college. So probably seven years or so, I've just been watching booktube before I ever even started my channel. So everybody that I have watched in general, I remember Witty Novels was my very first favorite booktube channel. Some of my other favorites throughout the years have been Reagan from Peru's Project, Emma from Emma Books, Jesse from Jesse the Reader, all the big ones that I think we all know and love. And currently my top three favorite booktube channels are Kayla from Books and Lala, Gabby from Gabby Reads, and Jacqueline from Weeby Bookin. So all of them are big inspirations to me in wanting to start my channel. Number three says, what surprised you the most after joining booktube? And honestly, one of the hardest things I think about being on booktube is coming up with new creative content ideas because I love the classic standard TBR book haul wrap up tag kind of videos. And that is totally fine if that's all that your channel is. And that is the bulk of what my channel is. But I do also want to do some other variations, maybe book recommendations, try a chapter tags, things like that that are a little bit different than the norm. And the hardest part for me so far has been coming up with those unique and interesting videos. Number four says, what lessons have you learned since joining booktube? And I think that the biggest lesson that I learned is that you're never going to do it until you just do it. Sorry if you can hear them mowing over across the street, just, we'll just have to deal with it. Before I ever started my booktube channel, I talked myself out of it so many times by just saying, you don't have a camera, you would have to film with your phone, you don't have that many books, you don't own books that would make a good background, you're not going to be holding up every single book, you don't have these giant bookshelves, you don't have this, you don't have that, and made so many excuses for why I can't be a booktuber, and I still don't own that many books. I still don't own a camera. Every video that you guys have ever seen from me has been filmed on my iPhone. So I really was standing in my own way, and I think that's the biggest lesson that I've learned. And even like, there have been some video concepts that I've been like, you can't do that because of this, but once I just went in and did it, it turned out great. So I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned is to just do it. Number five is what fears do you have about your channel? And I guess the only fear that I really have at this point is getting stale. Like I said, I think it's totally fine if all a booktube channel is, is your TBRs, wrap ups, hauls, book tags, whatever, but that's not personally my style. I do like to switch it up a little bit and I don't want my content to get stale. I feel like I'm repeating the same things over and over. So that would be the one fear that I would say that I have. Number six, what kind of content would you like to create that you haven't yet? And the big thing that I am looking to get into within this next year is secret TBRs. I do actually have a secret TBR coming out in May that I'm really excited about, kind of like a vlogish type video. 
I'm excited about that. Those are the main kinds of videos that I want to get into. And just like I said, more creative videos. I do want to start a series about reading my favorite booktubers favorite books. I think that that would be fun and just in more creative stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions about something, some concept that you would like to see me try to tackle, let me know and I'm definitely open to suggestions. Number seven says, who have been some of the greatest supporters on your channel? And just a few that I can think of off the top of my head, Elise from Elise Reads and Speaks. I absolutely adore her. I feel like she was one of my very first booktube friends. She is lovely and she's always so supportive on every single one of my videos. And I will say the same for Sarah from Sarah the Dreamer. Again, one of my very first booktube friends. We've just been watching each other consistently and rooting each other on. So I love her as well. And then very, very recently, I have gotten involved with the Reads with Friends live show that goes live every Thursday at Jacqueline from Weeby Book and channel and all of the lovely ladies that are involved in that effort have been really big supporters and we have grown to be fast friends so I love every single one of them all of the channels that I mention in this video I will leave a link to down below so if you need any more booktuber recommendations you're gonna have a ton down there which is actually appropriate for question number eight, which says tag your faves. So I will pick a few specific people maybe that have smaller channels or newer channels to do this tag. So be sure to go and check the description down below in case you have been tagged or you're just looking for some inspiration and some new booktube channels to watch. So that is it for the Still a Booktube Newbie tag. I know today's video is pretty short and sweet, but I just wanted to cover that. And I also wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for sticking around. I would not have been on Booktube for a full year if it hadn't been for you guys interacting and giving the support that you have. So whether you've been here from day one or you just showed up last week, thank you for continuing to be here and consuming my content. I really, really do appreciate it. And here's to another great year on Booktube. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to go down and give it a big thumbs up as well as hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon down below so that you never miss out on any of my content. So until next time, bye.